Well, as you may know, she already got the ring, but now Brie wants the dough, all of my dough. And every time she sees a fat stack of balls like this, she knows pizza's coming. Let's get into it. We're cooking outside today. One quick note on the dough, before I head outside, each one of these balls is 200 grams of Jim Leahy's No Need Pizza Dough. Fantastic recipe, find it online, dozens of people use it, and it's for a reason. I think a big portion of making pizza at home is deciding how Neapolitan you're gonna get with it versus how American. Neapolitan, buffalo milk mozzarella, American, low moisture, part skim, pre-shredded mozzarella. Same goes for the tomato sauce, San Marzano crushed versus pizza sauce. I kind of walk the line in between. Now I know there's a lot of YouTube videos out there about how to make a New York style or Neapolitan style pizza in your regular old 550 degree oven, but this ain't one of those, Chief. Today I'm using the Rockbox by Gosney. There's a couple of other uh, models out there like the Uni, but when you get down to it, it's kind of like an Adidas versus Nike thing, and I'm team Rockbox. It's a fantastic device. It gets to like a thousand degrees, but it also costs 650 bucks. Good news is that once all that AdSense money started coming in, I needed a tax break. So if the IRS is watching, every single pizza that I've made in this device has been practiced up until this video. It's a business expense, okay? Bread flour is going onto this board, and I'm gonna turn out my first dough ball. You'll notice that there's some olive oil in here. I just like the way that it crisps up the crust. Not entirely necessary or traditional. Once that sauce goes down, you are on a race against the clock to get this into the oven before that water starts to leach towards the bottom of the pizza. In one swift, confident motion, just bring this onto the peel. Into the oven it goes. This whole process should only take about 90 seconds and once the bottom is set up, you can start turning it because there is a gigantic jet engine in the back. You wanna keep things circulating and moving so that you don't just burn the entire back and leave a raw front. All right, that's looking pretty good. Nice uh, char marks over here, melted cheese. Whoa! Whew. All I gotta do is slide this onto a serving plate and I think I will garnish it with some basil from the garden, and some parmesan cheese. Okay, that's the first one of the evening, but like marriages and pancakes, the first one never quite comes out the way you want it to, so it doesn't count. Let's keep on going. And since this one has meat on it, it means I can take the char up to 11 and Brie won't get offended because she's not eating this one anyway. All right, we are running out of daylight, but there's one last thing that has to take place for date night with Brie, and that's because I thought that Neapolitan pizza at the top of its game would be enough to satisfy her, but she just could not get off of the Domino's train until I figured out how to also do jalapeno cheesy bread. And for that, gotta bust out the cheap cheese. So this cheese on top is gonna get bubbly and kind of caramelized, and the cheese inside will be melty and gooey, a la Chef Domino. The temperature differential between back here and up here is like several hundred degrees. So in order to maintain that sort of Domino's pleb friendly texture of doughy cheesiness, you wanna keep things up at the front. Once you pull this out, you can chop it into vertical strips and that's about it. Are we just gonna let him be up here? No, I want him down. Hey, down, sit, get the <laughs> hell. So what is this, squash? That's butternut squash and brown butter sage with ricotta. The burnt sage is actually quite good. It's kind of like a toasted marshmallow because of how thin it is. Wow, it does taste like a marshmallow. That's really surprising. Yeah, it's great. Surprising. Well, it is. We've had so many pizzas since I bought this oven. Thousands. And they've all been practiced for this business expense, but mm -hmm. any memorable ones so far? Mmm. No. Wow. Ellie Tiani brought chicken cutlets over one time and made a chicken cutlet pizza. Mm -hmm. I think the best pizza I've ever made was the bone marrow pizza. Are you gonna tell people about how you proposed to me? Or is that a secret we take to the grave? Yeah, we take that one to the grave. Not a good story. It's a good story. Mm. Can I help you? I'm watching my ladylike figure. There are a lot of lady figures. And only one is ladylike. 
36, 24, 36. Bleach blonde hair. Don't start playing. <laughs> What's what What's <laughs> Huh? We need some kind of specialist to come fix our lights because this, let's be honest. Do we look ugly? Yes. We are. No, that's why I'm gonna make another video. How lights lie to you about me being <laughs> ugly. Have you heard that I took a vow on Twitter to not post anything negative anymore and only be positive? What inspired you to do that? I cyber bullied somebody much older oh, than Oh, right. Me. Right, that's fantastic. Well, this will be the last video that we shoot in which I have a mustache as November comes to an end. I think you have flour in your eyelashes. <laughs> You're so old. Just burping. Yeah, keep that. <laughs>